Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how I converted my 11 inch iPad Pro into the ultimate vlogging device. So as you can see in front of me I have quite a few items and I'll be going through step by step telling you what they are, how much they cost and what they do and then I'll be assembling them all into one ultimate vlogging device which I like to call the iPad Pro ultimate vlogging device. Okay, so as you can see, there's many components that go into converting the iPad Pro into a vlogging beast. And they all do different things. As you can see, we have them laid out in front of us. So, first of all, we have this. You might be able to guess what it is. It is a super wide-angle clip-on lens. And, you know, it's in the name. It's pretty self-explanatory. The, the cameras on the iPad Pro are good. Don't get me wrong, they're very good. But they're just not very wide. They're very zoomed in, especially if you're using the front-facing camera and you've got the iPad at arm's length. Your face is going to take up most of the frame and it feels very close. So you really need some kind of wide-angle clip-on lens. Now there's many different types of wide-angle clip-on lenses and it depends on how much you want to spend. It's up to you which one you get. I personally prefer this one because it's quite small, as you can see. It's quite small, fits in your hand. But it's still very good. Don't don't think that small means not good. You can get small things and they still perform very well. The brand name is Kenko. No, not the coffee. Kenko. Uh, and if you want to see the side, here we have the specifications. It's a Kenko high definition, 0.4 times super wide lens. 0.4 is pretty wide. I don't really feel like you need to get a wider lens. That's wide enough. Okay, moving on, we have a microphone with a hot shoe mount. So this, this is actually for DSLR. Usually people buy these for DSLRs to put on the hot shoe mount to get better audio quality. But this one is special because look here, it has a little switch and you can switch between cameras or tablets or phones. So just switch it to the phone or tablet side. And it's a Comica V30 Lite. And it also comes with this fluffy thing, which I think it's called a wind a wind muff. I'm not sure what it's called, but it stops the wind blowing and stops those wind noises. So audio quality is a lot better than the built-in microphone on the iPad Pro. But the problem is the iPad Pro doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So you're going to have to get one of these little converters, adapters, and this allows you to plug in a 3.5 millimeter audio plug into a USB-C device. So you can plug this into your phone or your GoPro or your iPad Pro and then it should work perfectly fine. Here we have the mount adapter for the tripod and we're going to need that for the, the tripod holder. Now this is a very special tripod holder. I mean iPad Pro holder for the tripod. Let me show you why. Okay, so this is a Ulanzi branded tablet holder. It's made out of metal, it's very sturdy. And you just screw it in like that. Twist, twist that knob and it tightens. Now the special thing about this tablet tripod holder is it actually has a, a hot shoe here. Or is it a cold shoe? I get it confused. I get it mixed up sometimes. Anyway, this is very important because the microphone slots into here and we're going to slot that in in a moment next and finally we have the tripod now this is um this is up to you you might think this tripod is pretty big but i think it's good because it's very sturdy very strong and once you've assembled all this together it's going to be very heavy and you're going to want to have a sturdy strong tripod that can support all of that but if you want a smaller tripod, you can get one of those mini tripods. It's completely up to you. I personally like this tripod because uh, you can extend it. It's very strong. It has a little lever here, but all the liquid inside of it has dried up. Anyway, and the tripod has two functions. Number one, you could use it as a tripod and just leave it somewhere to film hands-free. Or you could fold it up like this and actually use it like a big selfie stick. Like that works both ways pretty effectively okay so that was the 
explanation and tour of all the different components. Now we're going to assemble it into its final form, the ultimate iPad Pro vlogging device. Let's begin. Okay, so first of all, we need to plug in the adapter. Quite simple, just goes in like that. And then we need to attach the tripod mount onto the Ulanzi tablet holder. That just screws in quite simply. Screw that in tight. You don't want things to be loose on this setup. You don't want that $1,000 iPad Pro dropping to the floor, do you? Now, where do we put the wide angle lens clip? Well, we can put it on the front facing camera for now. It's not really important. Now, the tricky thing about these clip on lenses is you need to make sure that the lens is exactly aligned over the camera lens. Otherwise, you're going to get distortion. You're going to get vignetting and it's just going to be ugly. So make sure it's lined up over the camera lens like so. Okay, next we attach the microphone. Now, um, the direction you attach the microphone in really depends on where the audio is coming from. So if the audio is coming from from your mouth, then you want the microphone pointing towards you. If you're filming something that's in front of you, then you're going to have to put the microphone the other way round. So you can put it in this way round or the other way round. Let's, let's face it towards us at first in the beginning and then we'll switch it round later. Okay, so that slots in and then you need to tighten this screw until it's stable. Make sure it's tight, you don't want this wobbling. Okay, and then we attach the USB-C adapter into the USB-C port of the iPad Pro. You might want to cut off this little keychain thing because it does get in the way. Okay, so it's taking shape quite nicely. And you can even use the back of the iPad Pro holder as like a little grip. And that's what it looks like. So the final step is we need to attach it to the tripod. And there we have it, the ultimate iPad Pro vlogging device in its final form. We have everything assembled, it's on the tripod. You want to make sure this is nice and tight, otherwise the iPad is just going to flop down. And you might break the screen, that wouldn't be ideal. From the back, it looks like this. You can see the microphone cord is leading directly into the USB-C port. We have the clip-on lens here. And we have the tripod, which is holding everything upright. And it's also quite portable if you just fold up the tripod like so, and then lift it up. It's not too heavy. I'm right-handed, I'm not left-handed, so it's a bit tricky for me to hold this right now. But if I was using my right hand, I'd be able to hold this much more efficiently. And yeah, it actually works quite well as a big selfie stick. And I think it's quite good for taking videos because, as you can see, we've got this nice big screen, nice big viewfinder, and we've got this microphone for better audio. Now, if we take off the clip on lens, you can see the difference it makes. See how much closer my face is with it off and when I put it back on, it's just such a big difference. Okay, so I've now flipped the clip on lens round and attached it to the rear facing camera. And as you can see, it's very wide angle with it on. If I take it off, this is the difference. Huge difference right there. It's just a bit tricky getting the clip on lens directly over the lens bump. So if we fold up the tripod a bit and pick it up, you can actually see how portable it is as a vlogging device. Now the great thing about having a big screen is it just makes framing the video much easier. And I'm going to walk over to the mirror to show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I know what you're thinking, probably looks a bit silly, probably looks a bit big, and I don't have the microphone plugged in. And yes, admittedly, it does look a bit silly and you're going to need a lot of confidence and courage to walk outside like this. But don't worry, people don't really care about you. They're, they're too busy with their own lives to worry about someone 
you know, you're just walking around with a big iPad. So if you're going out for an outing, you have so many options. You have this microphone for the audio, you have clip on lens for wide angle, and then you can use the selfie stick tripod as a tripod. You can put it down on the ground, you know, take some nice footage. And you know, it looks, it looks okay. What you have to keep in mind is if you want to get good quality footage, then yeah, you're going to have to use something that's a bit bigger and you're going to stand out a bit more, but you shouldn't worry about that. If you're serious about what you're doing, then don't feel embarrassed when it comes to using proper gear. So I hope you like this video. Um, this was a video about my iPad Pro converting it into the ultimate vlogging device. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you can make one for yourself. You can make it, you can customize it to your own desires so you could get a different clip on lens, you could get a different microphone, you could get a different tripod. Really is up to you, but those are the main components the lens for wide angle and the microphone. Apart from that, uh, there's not really much else you can do. Well, I guess you could get a clip on ring light so you can illuminate your face better. If you really wanted to, you could clip on the GoPro, so you could be capturing video footage from this side and from the other side simultaneously from the GoPro. At the same time, if you want to do that, you can do that. There's a lot of options with this setup. Hope you liked it, and I'm going to go. Bye.